What's going on, Ole Miss fans? Boy, turn us back in video. And today, I do have former Ole Miss linebacker Cassius Ware in the house. So, uh, Cassius, appreciate you doing this, man. Definitely means a lot. Yeah, anytime. Okay, so first, uh, just tell just tell your name, tell where you're from, uh, tell what you're using for the Ole Miss. Just kind of give a quick introduction, right quick. Yeah, my name is uh, uh, Cassius Ware. I'm from uh, Batesville, Mississippi. Um, uh, played at Ole Miss back in the um, the mid um, the, uh, the mid nineties from ninety two. I played ninety two, ninety three, two seasons at Ole Miss. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I got you. Okay, so I always like to start at the very beginning. So you, you just mentioned you're from Batesville. Now, for those who don't know, Batesville is it's pretty close to Oxford. Uh, Batesville is what would you say about thirty minutes from Oxford, not too far. Uh, twenty uh, twenty minutes. Twenty minutes yeah. on a on a yeah. hot day. Yeah. yeah, I got you. Twenty minutes. So yeah, pretty pretty close to Oxford. So, did you enjoy growing up in Batesville? Did you kind of enjoy the small town, or didn't care for Batesville too much? Or yeah, I mean, I, lo I love Batesville, but I mean, I have to give it due do just as I I'm from. I'm, I was uh, I was raised in Cortland, and um, then oh, I, yeah. I went to I went to uh, Pope Elementary in Pope Junior High. You know, so um, I have to give my shout outs to uh, uh, Cortland and uh, and Pope, you know, because that's where I really started playing playing sports. You know, that's why I, um, I started off as a, as a, as a running back and uh, and, uh, you know, transitioned over the years. OK, I got you. I got you. OK, so, uh, of course, you play football. Is there any other sports you played as well, too, growing up or just football? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm uh, you know, I led in, in all in uh, three sports from um, football, basketball, and um, and track. I was, my my first love was basketball. You know, my okay. uh, yeah, my uncle he um, you know, in the yard. I mean, we played basketball almost every day. <laughs> yeah, you know, so that was my that was my first love, and you know, and I you know I realized uh, when I when I started playing football, uh, you know, I was um, 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 you know I did real well, so. I played. I played running back in the early years, and and, and uh, when I got to high school, I, I uh, transitioned over to uh, uh, linebacker. It was pretty much almost my almost my senior year, junior and senior year. Okay, I got you. So that mm -hmm. this is kind of leading up to my next question, actually. So, was there a is there like a certain day or like a certain year that you kind of noticed, like, hey, I'm pretty good, and I could play at Ole Miss or play somewhere pretty good? Yeah, I think think about the eighth grade. You know, I, I okay. uh, you know, I, you know, playing, playing, uh, playing, like I said, playing basketball really well, just being an athlete. Then, then football, you know, just seemed so natural. And uh, then track, I did, I, I did really great in track. So, uh, um, you know, my grandmother, she, uh, she got on to me for something, and you know, she, uh, I you know, I had my, I think of my poor car or something. I said, it's okay, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna keep working hard, and I'm gonna get, uh, I'm gonna get a scholarship. So don't worry, you know, I'll, I'll go to school for free. You know, so yeah. I, that's I mean, that was eighth grade. And, you know, it seemed like I, I, I think about that moment all the time. And, and uh, I put it out in the atmosphere and all of a sudden, boom, I, you know, I got I was very blessed to um, go to college. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So, mm -hmm. OK, so uh, who, who actually was your first offer? Uh, so I, I had I had um, I had some trouble with grades. And um, you know, I I didn't have trouble with grades, but that, that ACT was uh was tough for me. So when I uh, so I didn't, I didn't get any get any major offers uh, uh, out of high school. So uh, Coach Franklin up in Northwest Community College, he came down and got me, and and uh, he took me took me up to Northwest. You know, and and the crazy thing about that, um, you know, it was it was that last minute. You know, you you go you go in and meet your counselors and uh, you know get your classes and all that and. And uh, all of a sudden, they said, "Wow, you you made a you made a 19 on your ACT. You could you why did you come to Northwest?" And I said, "19? Are you sure?" And they showed it to me, <laughs> and I mean, you know, I, I at that moment I said, oh, "It's too late. To, it's too late to go anywhere now." So, so I just I just made Northwest my home, you know. Yeah, I it was got a great. It. it was a great move. I'm so I'm so thankful for Coach Franklin and Coach McGraw and. You know, and uh, Coach Cole, Danny Cole, to you know, um, um, get me up there, and, and uh, they taught me a lot. They taught me how to be 
um, a winner, taught me how to be a, um, um, you know, team on another level, you know. Um, in high school, I mean, I, I was, uh, Coach Coach McMahon, great coach. I mean, I, I love him to death. He, um, he gave me so many opportunities. He put me at every position on the field, and he gave me the – opportunity. I always want to thank him for that. You know, that was, uh, you know, and being playing more positions that, that gives you more opportunity to understand what the, uh, you know, what the offense is doing, what the other players are doing. So I can, I can look over there and see what that quarterback doing or that running back doing. So that may may be in a linebacker a whole lot better. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. Def, definitely in Juco. Juco is definitely a way for you to, uh, with some people to definitely grow up, definitely a way to learn for sure. Yeah. Just, some some guys are just not quite ready for the SEC as a as a freshman. So, I'm I'm so glad I, I was uh I, I started I I'm I met, I, I'm, I didn't start two day two games at two um my first game in Northwest I didn't start uh, I I I played the second half. Uh, shout out to uh, Scott Michaels. He was you know I, I don't tell everybody this but uh you know i tell i told scott i said hey, he taught me scott taught me a lot so he he knew a new to knew the system so i followed everything he did and i mean he, he was uh he was great man still a great friend he he owns the rooster oh yeah yeah i know you're talking about <laughs> yeah. yeah oh yeah yeah, yeah. I, know, I know you're talking about that mm-hmm. yeah, I, know, I know exactly who you're talking about <laughs> he's uh, a yeah. crazy crazy guy for sure so yeah, but but that that was a lot of development up there, so it, it really helped me. Uh, you know, as soon as I got to Northwest, I, I started on a whole nother level, and you know, and learned it and mastered it. You know. Yeah, I got you. Okay, so yeah, you mentioned you played JUCO for two years, and then you came to Ole Miss. So was it a was it a pretty hard decision, or did you know that hey, I'm going to Ole Miss, no matter if Alabama or someone else offers me, or. Well, I, I don't want to get into it right now, but uh, it, it was, uh, um, you know, I, you, can, you can read it in the book, you know. But uh, I, okay. uh, I had a lot of – out of JUCO. So we, in JUCO, we went to the national championship. You know, we uh, – the first year, we, when I went, I didn't win. But uh, we did we did really well. But uh, we came in uh, – the next year, um, they went back and they won the national championship. So uh, I had a lot of great offers. Uh Right out, right after Christmas, and from from Mississippi State to Ole Miss to uh, Tennessee, Alabama, uh, who else? Memphis, um, Jackson State, um, who else? Uh, Fresno State. You know, the, okay. yeah. you know, that was uh, Arkansas State, Arkansas and Arkansas State too. So, you know, I had a lot of offers. So, uh, but you know, I narrowed it down and um, came to Ole Miss. You know, uh, it was 20 minutes from home. I couldn't beat that. You know, yeah. I couldn't, it's, it's, you know, I look back and those a lot of guys, they they have to travel, I mean, almost, uh, you know, 10, 12, 15 hours to, you know, uh, go home. And, man, I was at home and, you know, I could go home for lunch, you know. <laughs> yeah, hey, you can't beat yeah. that. So. I did a lot of times. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, if you want to go back right quick, so, uh, yeah, you did mention about your book. Now, there's probably not many Ole Miss fans that know about your book. So, can you talk about that right quick? Well, you know, it's in, in the plans, you know, within the next uh, the next year, I'll, I'll um, I'm, I'm writing it now, so it'll, it'll come out next year. Well, just, I mean, just well later like, on this year. Just, the, just tell the name of the book, or what you plan on writing about, or like how you can you how can you buy it? Just kind of give details about that right quick. Well, the um, the the title, man, I, I'm still I'm still struggling with the title. Oh, you know, okay. I, you know, it's a um, it's a lot of things. I'm, I'm about to pray about it and keep praying about it. It'll, it'll come out just right, and you know, and um, you know, it's a lot of great experiences, a lot of uh, a lot of great coaches, a lot of great teammates. I mean, so many great teammates on so many levels, and I played with some of the greatest players in the in the in the world. I know they are. I know they were. They still they still good uh good friends. I think about them all the time. And coaches, I mean, they they uh, I learned so much. You know, being being uh from them, just you know, taking some of the stuff that they they said to me over the years, and uh, you know, and and that's what that's what made me, that's what makes me who I am today. You know. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Okay, so uh, that's question I want to ask you is, uh, what is your favorite Ole Miss memory? Man, I mean, you know, uh, 
so so many. You there, know. There's just like one play that you always remember. So, so many, but but, but 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 of course my, you know my first uh, my first game at Ole Miss uh, against Auburn. Um, you know that's, that's actually the play that most fans remember of you was the fumble return. Yeah, yeah. So I mean that that was that was probably the greatest moment. Uh, I mean you know I, I was um I was that was late in the clearing house and man I, I didn't I didn't practice for like maybe like maybe two or three days before the first game and. And I got out there. I knew, I knew the plays and everything, so I just really, you know, uh, I'm in great, best shape of my life, you know. So uh, when I got out there, I just was playing football, and, and uh, man, you know, I was in the right place at the right time, you know. And uh, yeah. and I, I promise you, if I wasn't in the best shape of my life, I probably wouldn't have. Somebody probably would have caught me. But <laughs> you know, I mean, I, I was a 248 pound linebacker, and uh, I mean. Nobody caught me. They hadn't caught me yet, you know. So <laughs> <laughs> I, I uh, talked to Dwayne Dotson, you know, about it all the time. And I said, man, why didn't they catch me? He said, man, you was rolling, man. You was rolling. I said, wow. I couldn't believe it, you know. Yeah, uh, you, uh, you definitely got some speed for sure, so. Oh, yeah. It was fun. Okay. Uh, next question I want to ask you now, of course, after Ole Miss, you had a chance to play – well, you had a trial with the Colts, played, uh, played in Canada, played in arena football as well too. So, I guess what was the hardest thing about the NFL? Well, you know, the, back back then, I, I didn't recognize it, you know. Uh, but, like, you, you, know, you, have to, uh, you have to get the opportunity to get the reps and to learn the plays and, and uh, learn the playbook. And I mean that. I mean, um, um, I didn't get the reps. You know, I, I was getting like maybe uh, eight to ten reps a game. I mean, eight eight to ten reps of practice. And I mean, that's really not enough. You know, but you know, uh, again, I mean, um, you know, it was so hard to, um, um, you know, most of those guys are like freak of nature. You know, it, it was we had a few guys on our team that's from at, at Ole Miss and, and Northwest and uh, freak of nature, you know, and they, they are so, that so athletic, so uh, a student of the game, you know, they um, uh, just, it came so natural. And, you know, I've, I mean, I love, I love working out. I love training. I love, that's what I do now. I still train because mm -hmm. I, I love preparing, you know, but these guys, they didn't, they didn't have to prepare. They was already ready. And, you know, sometimes you, you know, you look over to the side and you're like, man, this guy here is bigger than me and he's faster than me and he plays guard. You're like, oh my God, it's going to be a bad, it's going to be a hard day. It's going to be a tough day today. And uh, I mean, and, and most of those guys, I mean, I take my hat off to them and, and uh, most people don't realize how great they are. When you get to that level, you, you become great. You know, everybody, everybody's great at that level. Everybody's great. You know, I mean, everybody's great. So, you know, uh, um, I, I mean, I wouldn't. I wouldn't put those guys up against any, any just regular regular person off the street and any college player. I mean, just a, a regular college player wouldn't have a chance. Wouldn't have a chance. But uh, but you know, you, you, it's, it's development and a different mindset. And um, you gotta you gotta like uh, love the game. I, I love the game, but it's a big big sacrifice. And uh, you know, I. Uh, you know, I always, always said, man, why didn't, why didn't I play a long time, or why didn't I get to that Hall of Fame, or why didn't I do this, do that? But, you know, um, man, it, it wasn't in the books. You know, it wasn't in the, in the, in the, in the plan. So, uh, but, but, but I'm happy. Uh, uh, life has been good. Life's been really yeah. good. I got you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you did mention you also played in Canada as well too. Played, uh, played a regular football there in Memphis as well too. So. I want to ask you from a linebacker's perspective, what were some of the hardest adjustments for you playing linebacker in Canada in arena football than college or NFL? Um, uh, Canadian football is is all running. It's all running. You know, um, in, at, at Northwest, you know, I mean, I, I mastered the inside linebacker from sideline to sideline. You know, I got uh, 192 tackles. You know, so – then when I went to Ole Miss, I, I was a little bit inside and they put me outside. So, you know, inside was still there, but, you know, they needed me outside. So, you know, I, I took care of that right side, you know. Um, um, 
and when I, when and on that next level, it, it's just, it's just so much running. And plus, you know, I was uh, uh I was two fifty at Ole Miss, and uh, I was um, um, most of the Canadian linebackers are 200, 200 pounds. I mean, they're they're actually like you know strong safeties, uh, you know DBs because they you know those uh, those running backs they get a head start. And you know, I mean, it's unreal yeah. to uh, 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 backpedaling don't get it. You got to be sprinting. <laughs> yeah, and uh, you know it, it was uh. And it's frustrating, you know, because I'm, I'm used to making tackles and making plays. And I mean, you know, I mean, it, it went, it went, it went weeks and weeks, and I couldn't even make a tackle, you know, you know, it just the field is so much wider, so they can run from you, you know. Then, you know, it's, it's crazy. The SEC, you know, you you learn to, um, you know, inside those uh, lines, and man, you can uh, you can make a tackle from you know, you know, very easy. Yeah, that's, that's what all the defensive players have been saying is that, yeah, just like you mentioned, like the linebackers and the running backs, they have the hard – they have already have that head start. And players like you, it's hard to – you know, once you're you're already behind, it's hard to catch up to them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's – that's uh, you know, when you got – when the SEC, I mean, you got great tight – great ends and great defensive ends. And, I mean, and, and uh, you know, if you don't – if you don't get hooked – Man, you you and most of the time we we didn't get hooked and uh, those inside linebackers can man they can make make all the plays make some really good plays and I had some great teammates and made some great plays and you know that was uh man that was that was the uh, uh, the best part you know yeah I got you okay so now you work I guess you actually already kind of talked about this song but now uh, after your football days. I mean, if you're if you're not if you, if you people are not friends with Cassius on Facebook or following my social media, you can definitely tell pretty quick that you love weightlifting. It's something you do. I'm I'm guessing you do it every day. Do it pretty often. So, so I guess my question kind of is like, hey, why why weightlifting? Why training? Why did you just why did you decide to do that after football? Well, um, uh, my uh, my cousin, my mentor, my coach. Uh, Coach Dan Ray Cole, I mean, he uh, he he uh, he taught me a lot. He motivated me a lot. He got me really strong, you know. Rest his soul. Um, so when he when he, when he left um, college, he's from Batesville, you know. And uh, when he got out of college, he came back home. And when he was out of college, we was leaving, going to Northwest. And he went to Northwest before us. And uh, he he really just kind of taught us, uh, you know how to, how to really work out and, and get in shape to play that college game. And I mean, we worked out every day. I mean, and I mean, he, he had me in the best shape of my life again. And, uh, um, so, you know, I, I started to, at, at that point, I started loving training. I love the workout. I love the weights. I love the running. I love the, the training too. Cause I mean, I kept getting better, you know, I, I, um, and, um, uh, you know, on every level it's, it's, um, um, you got to be prepared, you know. I mean, practice is way harder than the game, and that's that's what uh when I learned about practice and and training, and um you know when I, when the game was over, you know, hey, I knew that I would always train forever, you know. So, um at at, at um you know when when it's all over and I was back in Memphis, I started uh I started doing personal training and uh, you know been doing it ever since, you know. And you know, and, and as you get as I get older, I uh, I always want to be functional. You know, I have my my great uh, um, my health, I want great health and, and and physical health. And uh, you know, thank God I haven't had any uh, uh, major major injuries or I don't have any major pains or or anything. And uh, you know, I, I always always say I, I've always worked out. I probably I probably never. I mean, I've never, I've always worked out at least once, once a week, you know, pretty, since, uh, since college, you know, but most of the time I work out almost every day. Yeah. I got you. I got you. Um, okay. So I do want to ask you just a couple more questions. These are just kind of, uh, not really football related questions. Some of them are, but, uh, I guess it's kind of like a game, I guess. So okay. uh, I always like asking the players just for sure. Um, this is going back to your Ole Miss days. So I don't know if you have any kids now. I don't know, but 
if you had a daughter, what teammate would you not trust dating your daughter? Oh, my God. Well, I do have daughters. I have two daughters. Okay, and, okay. Uh, Got one now. Okay. God, teammates. I mean, uh, and overall, um, I trusted all my teammates, you know. I I, I, okay. I trust them. I mean, it's a, you know, we was a family, you know. And uh, I, I can't think of one guy I wouldn't trust. Okay. I think you're actually the first one ever, I believe, to not give me one guy, so. I mean, hey, I, I mean, I, 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 okay. I'm thinking hard, you know, and I'm, I mean, uh, man, I mean, hey, yeah, I, 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 trust, I trust them all. Things. Hey, that's, that's good. You trust them. So. <laughs> uh, okay. Next question I do have for you is, um, would you rather spend five years in jail or 10 years in a coma? Oh, five years in jail. Oh, why? Okay, why jail? Just because it's shorter. Well, or? well, I mean, coma—you you, you're gonna lose everything. Your, your body's gonna die. You know, you might not be able to build back. And five five years of in, in jail, man. You know, for for um, that could be rest. You know, you could you could be you could read. Uh, you can you could uh what what you know what I would do? I would be uh, uh I would I would be a lawyer. Lawyer, that's that's interesting. So, all, all the law books are in in jail. So, you know, I would uh, I would study law in jail. I mean, I, it's self taught, but hey, yeah. you know, you could definitely learn some stuff for sure. And I have a lot of time, free time. Yeah, yeah. five free You're five right. years of free time. Oh man, I'll be I'll be I work out every day, and uh, and uh, study law. <laughs> uh, I know it's crazy, yeah. huh? It's funny. <laughs> yeah, I got you, Cassius. Uh, okay, so next one. This is actually a football related question. Uh, what was your funniest or most embarrassing football moment? Wow, football moment. Embarrassing. Oh, my God. Man. I mean, this could be college days, pro days, fly football days. Oh man, I mean, you know, I mean, being honest, I, I I really didn't have any bad days. You know, I I mean and and I you know I'm 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 so blessed and you know and I was blessed every day of my life I've been blessed and um man uh man I'm trying to think of something. I, I, I listen, I'm I'm fifty one now, so I I'm probably forgetting a few things, but uh All right. hey, you, you know, so I mean like I mean it really I mean I had a lot of fun, you know, if I you know, fun things. I mean, God, it's, it's so much fun. You know, so one one uh the fun the fun thing. You know, we uh we had spring break one year, and uh we um uh, we jumped in the car and took off to uh, Tampa, okay. and uh uh hung out with Ty J. It was it was uh um uh, me Dwayne and uh and Stacy Wilson. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I knew you were talking yeah. about. Yeah. Yeah. So we wrote. I mean, we just jumped in the car. We didn't. We didn't. Uh, we just drove down there, <laughs> stayed about two or three days. Man, came back. Man, that was that was a, uh, you know, just a fun little road trip. But you know, we didn't get into trouble. You know, I mean, uh, no, you know, no social media around back in the day, and um, you know, we just try to try to stay. You know, uh, coaches had us on a, uh, you know, on the ropes. They said, "Man, look, stay, stay around here and and, uh, and stay out of trouble." And you know, we did. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Okay, so uh, two more questions. I promise I'll be done. So this is going back to your uh, bodybuilding stuff, working out. So, of course, I mean, you pump. You know, you work out your legs, your arms. I mean, you do it all. So. If there was only one part you could choose to work out the rest of your life, which part would you work out? Um, I mean, I, I'll I'll just I'll just do cardio. You know, my heart. You know, keep my heart strong. You know, I think that's oh. uh that's probably the key to to the whole success of everything. I mean, you know, even the weights get, keeps your heart uh keep your heart strong, and you know, you get get that blood circulation going on, and and I think uh. I, I think that's the that's the key to a uh, successful life, you know. 
Hey, okay, good answer. I got you. Okay, so uh, final question tonight, Super Bowl. So, uh, what's your thoughts about tonight's game? Who do you have winning? Thoughts about that? So, you know, I, I um, as I get older, I, I, I talk a lot of talk a lot of smack, and but I don't, I don't. Uh, but but what saved me? I don't pick a team. You know, I, I says I say all the time. I say, look, may the best team win. You know, I hope no none of the players have injuries or you know uh, yeah. or anything you know hurt get hurt or anything like that. And and one thing I just ask for let make make sure it's one, a game that I can never forget. You know, you know I, I look at games and like man, I hope this game is something I can remember for the rest of my lives. And you know, it's, it hadn't been a lot. Haven't been a lot lately, you know, but um, yeah. a lot of great players, but a lot of lot of a uh, lot of teams, and you know, they it's a good team, but it's not. I've seen some great stuff, but you know, not not lately. So I hope I hope uh, you know when when you're on that level, hey, they neither team as, as a player, I always say you can't. They're not on no losers today, you know. They've made it. They've made it to the ultimate, you know. And I mean, and if they only leave, only loser you're gonna have is if you don't leave it all on the field today. Yeah, yeah. You Absolutely. you see that player that that uh, didn't leave it on the field? You know, hey, he'll probably he'll probably wish he had it the rest of his life. But if you can leave it on the field, you'll win. That's a that's a good response. I like it, sir. Um, but yeah, I think it's pretty much all the questions that have for you, Cassius. Uh, Dick, appreciate you doing this, and uh, yeah, we'll talk again soon, bud. So, hey, thanks, man. I appreciate you. Yeah, hey, thank you. Okay, howdy, howdy, howdy.